Hi everyone, Derek Hooper here. I find that possibly the most feared shot in the game of golf is the bunker shot. People approach this shot before they even walk into the bunker, they're scared about their success. They tend to hit a too, too much sand, they hit too little sand, the ball sails over the green. But either way, there's not a lot of confidence in how to get the ball out of the bunker. Well, today I'm going to show you how to play a bunker shot effectively and ways that you can get the ball out and on the green every single time. Yeah, that's right, every single time. So if you follow what I'm going to show you today, you're going to be a much better bunker player. You're going to amaze your friends. You're going to be able to get the ball close to the hole and get some sandies and make a couple of dollars off them next time you're playing. So I'm out here on the golf course at Lake of Isles. I've hit a nice tee shot in the middle of fairway, but I've left myself on the right-hand side of the green here in this bunker. And I'm thinking about, well, what am I going to have to do to be able to make solid contact here and get the ball close to the hole? So let's go through some of the bunker fundamentals that I need to be aware of to have success with this shot. So the first thing I want to be aware of is, you know, where is the ball positioned in my stance? I'm going to make sure that it's left of center. I'm a right-handed player. It's going to be left of center up towards my left heel. I'm going to make sure that I've got a little more weight on my left side than my right side. And possibly most importantly is I've got to take my sand wedge and I want to open the club face. Now, this does two things for me. Number one, it increases the loft on the club face, which is going to make the ball go much higher. But it also increases the amount of bounce. Now, bounce is how far below the leading edge does this trail edge sit? Because ideally when I hit a bunker shot, I want that trail edge to be hitting the sand so the club will skid across the sand. If I get that leading edge to hit, the club's gonna to dig too much, I'm gonna move too much sand and I'm not gonna be able to get the ball out. So when I set up like this, I wanna set up so that the ball's left in my stance, I'm going to spin the shaft and then regrip it and that's how I'm gonna open the club face. Because the club face is a little open and it's going to point right of target, I've now got to aim my feet a little to the left of target. I've got the ball forward in my stance, my weight is left, and from here what I want to do is I want to keep my weight left as I'm swinging. The club's going to work a lot more upright than what it does in my other shots, and that's due to the fact that my hands are going to be down the grip a little bit. It steepens the shaft angle at address, and that is what increases the swing plane angle. So you'll hear a lot of the times that you've got to hit the, you pick the bunker, sh sorry, pick your sand wedge up when you're hitting bunker shots. And the reality is that yes, we do want it to go a little more upright than normal. We don't want it going around too much, but we really just want it to work on the plane that we've set at address by setting the shaft a little more upright due to my setup. So once I'm in that setup position, I'm going to have quite a long backswing. Again, my weight's still staying left. And I'm trying to make sure that I take the sand that's on the target side of the golf ball and move that sand up onto the green. A lot of people that I talk to who are having trouble with bunker shots talk to me about, oh, I've got to hit two, three inches behind the ball. And although the reality is that the club does hit the sand behind the ball, I see players get fixated on this two and three inches behind the ball too much. Club digs into the sand, they're trying to move too much sand, can't get enough speed, and the ball tends to stay in the bunker. Or if they do manage to get it out, they've moved so much sand with the ball that there's just no spin on the golf ball and it tends to land on the green and roll out, even roll off the other side of the green. The key to playing good bunker shots is being able to spin the ball. If you can spin a bunker shot, you can control a bunker shot. So I'm always talking to players about, I want to take the sand that's on the target side of the golf ball and I want to throw that sand up onto the green as far as I can. Because if I do that, I'm still going to get sand between club face and ball. I'm still hitting the sand before the ball, but I'm hitting much less sand, much less sand between club face and ball also. So I'm going to be able to spin the ball more. And as I said, if I can spin it, I can control it. So I'm going to set up, ball's forward in my stance, my weight's left, club face is open. I'm going to set up like this. You're going to see quite a long backswing and long follow through. And as I said, I'm trying to take the sand on the target side of the golf ball and throw that sand up onto the green. And that's the way you want to get it done. Now the other thing I want to show you is a drill that you can work on so that you can hit bunker shots like that all the time. So the drill that I would use for players who struggle with their bunker shots is very simply this line drill that I've got here in, in front of me. So what I've done is I'm going to take my address position. I want this line just inside my left heel. I'm going to take my setup and then my goal is that I want to make swings and I'm trying to take only the sand on the target side of the line and I'm trying to throw that sand up onto the green. So I'd have the player set up like this. I would obviously check their fundamentals and make sure that their, 
their setup is correct. They've got the club face, as we said, we want to spin the shaft so the club face is open to increase the loft and the bounce and that their weight is over on that left side. But then once they're there, I want to be getting them to throw that sand up onto the green. And then once they can do that a few times, I then get them to move the golf ball and then repeat it. And you can see that most of that sand was taken on the target side of the line. I caught just a little bit of the backside, so that ball rolled out just a little more than might be ideal. But the majority of the sand you can see, the end of the divot was over here, whereas it started only there. So although I still hit about an inch and a half behind the ball, I'm still taking a lot of sand on that target side, throwing it onto the green. I get a nice high ball flight and a lot of spin, and that's how I'm going to be able to get out of the bunker. So if you're having trouble with your bunker shots, go through the fundamentals that we've talked about today. Then this line drill is going to be excellent for you to use, getting used to swinging much more towards target and taking the line out and getting less sand between club face and ball. You're going to get plenty of height, plenty of spin, and you're going to be able to get the ball close to the hole consistently.